All right, Amy, let me just show you how easy it is to grab these images. Um, so we're going to go into Free Mama here. So thefreemama.com, not anything else. Um, you don't have to go to the so whatever, the CF subdomain. It's not an iframe. It's nothing else. So it's really simple. Come in here, right click, <clears throat> copy image address, open up, new window, paste, boom, there it is. Okay, that's number one. Same thing here with number two, that's an image. If you can pull it like this, it's an image. So let's go right click, copy image address, boom, <clears throat> pop it in here, paste and go. Now, chances are when we grab this thing and pull it off, let's do that. Let's just pull it over here. It's going to give me a web page. You can normally tell, oh, it actually did come out as a PNG. I'm shocked by that. Let's try this one here. Let's see what we get here. Yeah, that one came off as a PNG too. So you can use those as is. You don't have to do anything to modify them. Another thing you can do, it's even simpler, just grab a hold of the image right here and just pull it over to your desktop. Boom, there. Done. All right. Background image. Ooh, wait, let's grab this one too. Let's see what this one does. Sometimes when they come off and they got like that little world looking thing, sometimes they'll turn into a, a .webp extension and then you have to drop them into easy gif and uh, turn them into a PNG or better yet a, a JPEG, but we'll pull this one off. Yeah. So they're all coming off as PNG. So that's, that's good. This here is also an image. So you can do that. Now, the one you're going to have problems with is the one of this gal here. I forget what her name is. Um, you can't pull that one off because that's a background image. So what we do is we right click on her. We go to inspect. Now, what we have to find is the section that this is contained in, because right now I probably clicked inside of a row or something. You can see this blue area, but you can see there was still pink outside of it. So I clicked into a row here. So we got to go up and find the section or container um, that it's contained inside of. And we right click on that. And then you come down here, you can see right in here in the code, right about where my pointer is here, that is the URL of it, but you can come down in here and you got it under your um, styles right here. And then you also have it on this section as well. So all you got to do is right click, copy the link address, and then we would come into a page. We would paste this in. And so now it's in the page. So all we can do is just grab it and pull it over here and see good. Now this one came out as a web page. Uh, which that's that's a function of Chrome, really. If you're not in Chrome, you probably won't see that. But so if that does happen, let's just go in here and just go easygif.com. And this is video is getting to be a lot longer than I thought it was going to be, but that's okay. Um, so go WEBP. Uh, we want to go to a JPEG. Uh, JPEG files are always smaller than PNG files as far as the size of the file. And so it will load faster by going with a JPEG. So let's drag this in. And there it populated. So we will say upload. I also could have just taken that, that address that I pulled off of the page. So I came in here and I did right click. I copied that address. You can also just come in here and just drop that address right there. So you don't even have to pull it off. But you also wouldn't have known if we needed to do it because we want to know if it was a WEPB or not. So let's just convert this to a JPEG. It's done converting. Take it, grab it over here and drop it. And now it's ready to be put into uh, ClickFunnels to, uh, to build your, your page with. So that's all I got.